Hey everybody, it's Patrick with P-Dubs Crypto World. So, I decided that a lot of my videos right now, until I get up to release, are going to be focused towards specific points in our, our trading. Um, so, for those of us that use the Profit Trailer bot, um, one thing that I wanted to point out is when you are trading, the, the type of pairs that you're trading. So, today I wanted to focus on um, volume and what it means for getting in and out of trading positions. So looking here, you can see obviously Ethereum has a high amount of volume. And then other coins, not quite as much, like uh, Band's got some lower, uh, well, 134 is not really significantly low, but sometimes when you start looking at some of the settings that you can have in here, and when you start looking at what you're you're basing on, so here I have a minimum buy, buy volume of 10. Now, that's really low. That's just because the simple fact that I have some coins that I'm currently um, in bags and working on diluting that the volume is not quite as much. So when you're looking at the consideration of the amount of volume that you're putting in, that's going to let you know what the 24-hour volume is. So... You can see here we got Qtum is 47, 35 here, 90, and none of these are really high volume right now. Link is a little going to be higher volume, but volume accounts for volatility. And when you're looking at what Bitcoin does in these particular move points, that's going to let you know how a lot of these other coins are going to do. So if you notice here, SXP is generally pretty high volatility but it's going to be on a uh, on a decline here. Now that just generally means that when it does come back it's going to end up probably having a higher kickback too but the thing that is really important is understanding when you're looking at the volume that accounts for the volatility and if you have low volume then you have lower volatility. Lower volatility means stagnation and when you stagnate people generally tend to sell off that coin as opposed to buying that coin. <coughs> Now, that's where you'll see a lot of your drops. That's just on the altcoin basis against Bitcoin itself. So when you're choosing your pairs, it's really important that you choose a regular high volume coin. You know, your Ethereum and uh, Stellar, your Moneros, a lot of those coins, Litecoin, are going to be high volume coins that are constantly being churned and you have less likelihood of falling into stagnation. Now stagnation is just one of the factors that accounts for the volatility in the coin going down and the price going down. Because when in doubt, people are gonna to migrate to the stable coins or Bitcoin to maintain their value against these altcoins. So I wanted to point that out here. I'm sure some of you already are aware of that when you're paying attention to the ups and downs of these. So when you're looking at uh, that type of stuff. So RSI modify the RSI indicators as well as like VWAP are going to indicate more heavily on those type of things, large sell-offs. But as bot traders with Profit Trader, we don't really ever look at those. Some of you actually use these um, and then buy manually and let Profit Trader do its its selling. But for those of you that l allow Profit Trader to do its thing. Setting up a good strategy is really key and setting up the criteria for buying your coins may even determine just as much as the strategy is. I'm, I don't use very uh, in-depth strategies or criteria right now because I'm simple in bag mode. That's all I do is I get in bags and I work on getting out of bags and testing all that fun stuff. But when you're looking at those kind of things, it's really important to know exactly where all of your, your buys or your sells are coming from and what the volume on the coins look like. So sometimes if you're in a pair that doesn't have a lot of volume and looking at this right here, uh, see, Waves might be something that I would pop out of. But two days ago, Waves is something that was constantly buying and moving. I would move a fragment and then all of a sudden, you know, five, ten minutes later, I was buying again and then I was moving that fragment. I think I moved, oh, let's see, when I was actually doing it here. Um, once it kicks 
up to me here. You know, I was just moving waves, 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 band, waves. And it goes through a period of high volatility because there's a lot of volume on that particular coin. And it's a lot easier to move fragments. And if you have a reasonable exit point, see these two right here were something I was testing to get into a different coin. Ethereum I sold off to free up and for me these aren't big things because I don't use a big account. So if I lose a dollar thirty seven for testing, it's not a big deal. Five bucks for testing is not a big deal. So when you're looking at this type of thing and the amount of volume and volatility you bring, please take into consideration when you're buying coins and looking to make profit you are more likely to lose value if you are in a coin that does not move as much. Like buying penny stocks in the stock market and expecting that a couple pennies are going to make you several hundred dollars, that doesn't necessarily equate when you're looking at the volume of these kind of coins and coins that are just not very well traded. Stagnation is the enemy and it will cause you to lose value against the Bitcoin when Bitcoin makes it sharp moves or even steady moves. So I hope that helped some give some of you guys some insight about trading pairs and the volume, the way it affects it. And uh, maybe look at what your volume is. Tell me what you work with because I'm I'm really, I mean this is stuff that I learned as I've went and taking that into consideration. I'm curious what some of you guys are doing as far as your limits and and just kind of where that goes. So leave some comments below or you're welcome to join the Discord and uh, strike up a conversation. We're trying to, uh, we're getting ready for a few things and I wanna make sure that everybody has a grasp on the best way to get in and out of profits and coins without getting stuck in bags or making sure that you don't get stuck in further bags as you're working on diluting or any other strategy that's gonna get you out of there. So thank you for your time. I hope this is beneficial if you like Leave a like, subscribe, comment. I definitely appreciate it. YouTube loves it in the algorithm. All right, have a great day, guys.